Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love connection reading for the second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And please do check the description box below for any and all information that you need is down there. Decks I'm using, social media links, playlists, personal reading information, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those who reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me in an energy exchange as an A-tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you for your support. It really means a lot to me and I really love to do this for you guys. Thank you for supporting this little channel and hopefully it'll grow and prosper into a big, bright, beautiful tarot channel someday where I can give all the guidance and clarity that people need to hear. So all your support really means a lot to me. Okay, Aquarius, second half of August already. Wow. Hope everybody's doing well. And if you are in summer, almost done summer, one more month, or if you're in winter, one more month or so, and then you head on into fall or spring, whichever direction you're going in. Um, okay, Aquarius, this is a zodiac oracle, so we may get a planet sign or element. So we'll see what comes out here. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. If you clicked on it, then there's probably something in here for you. So hopefully get some messages to you. Okay, Aquarius. What may some Aquarians be dealing with or energy around them? The second half of August, Spirit, please. And we have one. Whoops, that's too many. One card for Aquarius, please. One card for Aquarius. One card. Wow, okay. So this card flipped up, so we're going to take that one. So we got the moon. So the moon is a feminine energy. It is Cancer or Pisces. And this is about feelings, emotions, intuition, cycles, changes, um, love and emotions and that sort of thing. So you see, you know, the circle here. So it's all about cycles and changes, intuition, emotions, feelings, love, feminine energy. All right, so being in your feminine power, are you? Are you going through a cycle or a change? Or maybe being very um, intuitive? I don't know, let's see. Or it could be Cancer or Pisces for some. And the moon does have 14 attached to it. And one and four is five. And five is all about change. And the moon does represent cycles and changes. So as this, you know, the moon goes from new moon and then it cycles through the full moon and then it starts all over again. So, and it can also talk about uh, not seeing things clearly, maybe illusions and that kind of energy also. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what's going on with you, Aquarius. So the first thing I wanna do is get one card for an overall love energy for you for the half, last half of August. What is the love energy like for Aquarius spirit, please? For the last half of August, I'm feeling that one. Soulmate relationship, new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. So some sort of spiritual soulmate relationship. And maybe this is a new uh, connection because the moon talks about cycles and changes. So it could be a new um, connection for you here. Hmm, I don't know, let's see. Or if you are in one, and this can be any type of connection um, with whoever you have in mind. I forgot to say that, that, that at the beginning. Uh, so any type of love connection that you have right now, anything. You can be just crushing on somebody. You could be married, uh, separated, dating, whatever your circumstance is in any kind of connection. All right, <clears throat> Aquarius. Let's get one card for you and how you are feeling in this connection and about this person. I have one card for 
This one wanted to fly, but it didn't. Okay. Father healing. Your personal power increases as you give any father-related issues to heaven. So if some of you are <clears throat> holding back from relationships, especially if this is a soulmate relationship because you haven't healed from something, some sort of father, father issues here, <clears throat> can be any type of issues. I think you need to really do that inner work and do that um, healing work so that you can have more fulfilling relationships, romantic relationships. Okay, and it can be father, it can be grandfather, <clears throat> anything like that. So, okay, so let's see. Let's get one card for your person. How they are feeling about you in this connection. Morning affirmations. Stay, say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. So, <laughs> well, I think they're trying to manifest you, uh, Aquarius. Like they're praying for you. Maybe um, maybe they know uh, you have some inner work to do, that you're troubled in some way. And it's like they're praying for you. They're praying for your soul to heal. They're praying for the connection. It, you know, And they could be very spiritual also if it's not you. But I feel like the connection here is very uh, soulmate, spiritual soulmates here. Wow. So let's get um, energy at the bottom of the deck. What's your thoughts? It is important only to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. So if there's any fear in this connection, it's telling you here not to... And it could be things from that happened with you in your relationship with a father figure or your father, grandfather, whatever, whatever it is for you maybe uh holding you back and you have these fears that you don't really understand you need to heal from and so it's telling you to watch your thoughts here with this connection because i do feel it's a soulmate connection let's i'm just curious what's under that well that, that doesn't fit okay so let's see aquarius let's get some wow i just saw the moon again did you see that the moon on the bottom of the deck. Wow. So, <laughs> double confirmation there. All right. So, and that could be, you know, the moon energy too is, you know, about cycles and changes, dealing with your emotions, your feelings of whatever, whatever you're needing to heal here is, you know, maybe you've been hiding it with the moon energy. The moon energy is kind of like, things not being seen, things being hidden. So maybe you, you know, you tried to hide this that's been really affecting you, but really deep down, you know, you need to seek out healing, whether it's counseling or something like that, uh, therapy of some kind so that you can heal and move on. So you can have very fulfilling, loving relationships. And I think this person here you're connecting with definitely is a soulmate connection here. They're praying for you. They're praying for the connection. Wow. All right. So I hope this makes sense for some. Okay. So see your energy. Father healing. Exactly. So this is putting in the dedicated work. This is earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So um, this is putting in that dedicated effort, that hard work. So really needing to do that inner work and working on your healing here for yourself not only for yourself but you can so you can have those very fulfilling loving relationships moving forward so let's get one card for your person one card for your person So the nine of wands. So look how wounded this man is. I mean, they've been fighting for you. They've been praying like crazy. They'll, they, they want to do anything they can. I mean, they're just going to keep fighting and fighting and fighting no matter how battered and bruised they get in this connection. They don't want to give up. This is the wounded warrior. 
it's endurance. It's not giving up. It's fighting on and fighting on. So they're going to just keep fighting and fighting and fighting for you, for this connection. Praying and manifesting you and hoping you do this inner work to really heal yourself. So you can heal you and this connection and move forward in a new cycle. Wow. So let's see what your actual situation is now. So we have the Two of Pentacles. And you see how similar that kind of looks? Wow, I feel like two souls intertwined here. A soulmate relationship. Definitely is infinity connection there. The Knight of Wands and the Ten of Wands. So connecting to you is the Two of Pentacles again with trying to find your inner balance here. There's a need to work on yourself, balance out your energies. This is very unbalanced energy, the Two of Pentacles, trying to juggle things around, trying to get things balanced, whether it's, um, could be work related to something with working a lot and maybe also knowing you need to take care of father issues of some way. If it's not something, uh, you could have an ill father if you are not, uh, um, resonating with having father issues maybe you have a father that's ill and you're juggling around a lot around right now between this relationship your work your career your family and it's affecting this connection and this person's not giving up they're not going anywhere they've been fighting all along and they will continue to fight for this a very passionate fire wands is very a fiery passionate energy that's leo sag aries we have a lot of fire here now so um, they could be a fire sign if they're not uh, Cancer or Pisces. It's, we do have a lot of fire. So connecting to them is the Ten of Wands. So they know here, you know, this is how we got nine and ten. So it's a very burdened energy here. Like they feel like they're carrying the weight of everything on their shoulders. And maybe they see you as having all this burden right now between if you're having to deal with family issues, someone being ill in your family, whether it's your father, your mother, or whoever, working, career, this connection, just juggling so much around. And they see that this 10 here is very burden energy. But here's the Knight of Wands connecting the two of you. So this is the very passionate energy between the two of you. Uh, it's moving forward. Maybe it's an in and out energy right now because don't really have... A lot of time to give between the two of you because maybe all all of their issues right now so it's like you only come together when you can the knight of wands is usually a very in and out energy sometimes I consider it a player I'm not getting that energy I just feel like you may come together have some passion when you have the time spend some time together but it's very limited because of all what you're going through right now Aquarius and it's very, a lot of burdens right now, a lot of burdens and trying to juggle it all. But you come together with this person when you can, a lot of passion, passionate energy between the two of you. All right, so let's see, let's see what your advice is, uh, Aquarius now. So we have the High Priestess and we have the Six of Cups. So, the High Priestess is Cancer Pisces, and this is someone who is very intuitive, as with the Moon Energy, who is um, listens to her gut, her intuition, who is very spiritual, has a lot of faith and optimism, knows a lot, is divinely connected, but she doesn't say a lot. She keeps to herself. And now you have the Six of Cups Energy, so Cancer Scorpio Pisces, and this is about... Um, Memories, childhood, um, can also speak of past life relationships, a soulmate energy here, as we confirmed here. So you may have had past lives with this person. This definitely is a past life soulmate relationship here, as I had see the intertwining of the um, connection here, as also with the Two of Pentacles. And now we have the Six of Cups confirming that with soulmate past life relationship. And maybe this is somebody you've known since childhood um you could have reconnected with them or it's just been this very in and out energy for a very long time i don't know but um i think you know here your advice is here i think you know 
This is a soulmate relationship. Um, and you might have might have had past lives with this person. You know that, but your advice is the high priestess doesn't say anything. So listen to your gut, your intuition about the soulmate. Listen to that. What your gut is telling you about the soulmate. <sighs> you know, this is like this is saying not to reveal everything about this connection. But definitely listen to your gut and intuition. Maybe if you know it's a soulmate past life relationship, but they don't, it may scare them with this nine and ten of wands. That also could be something too. So maybe this is the energy of you know that, but don't say it because it might scare them away. Um, but I think with the nine of wands here, you know, I don't know. They, they've been fighting hard here for your attention. Um... So I don't think they want to give up. I don't know. So let's see what the possible outcome could be here. Judgment. Wow. So Scorpio energy here. So this is making a final judgment call. And this is the angel here that brings the soulmates together. That has that divine order of the final judgment of these two souls that come together and are soulmates lifetime after lifetime. Of being resurrected in every lifetime it's also about healing and forgiveness um, can be resurrection so again I felt with an in and out energy with the knight of wands um, maybe if you're not in a full-blown relationship maybe you just very long time been in and out of each other's lives here but now a decision needs to be made here a final judgment call on the soulmate relationship that's making that decision Forgiving, healing, everything from the past, whatever that means for anyone here. And uh, resurrection of this connection. All right, so let's get more clarification. Justice, wow. So, holy crap. So we have justice and judgment. Libra energy here now. So, I mean, justice can represent divorce, whether or not you or them have had been through a divorce. I don't know. I'm not getting that in this connection. This can also be about truth and clarity and balancing out the scales and bringing justice to this connection. So decision needed here to bring justice to this connection. If it's been in and out kind of energy, um, the Hierophant, wow, commitment, wow. Look, look at <laughs> Hierophant, justice, judgment. Holy crap, Aquarius. So this is Taurus energy. So this is faith, spirituality, commitment, marriage, um, doing what's moral, just, and right um, kind of energy. Value, family values, worth. Wow. I definitely feel like major decision needs to be made on bringing justice in this connection, on whether or not to commit to one another or doing, you know, something in that nature, doing what's moral, just right. The two of wands. So fire energy again. So making plans could be together, you know, making plans for the future, uh, plans, decisions, going in a whole new direction in this connection. The Emperor, wow, Aries energy here. So taking control, taking charge, whether it's you or them in this connection. And this can also speak of a father figure as we have father healing over here. So again, I feel like it could be just um, an ill father or father issue in some way here that's affecting this connection because there's a lot of responsibility on your part. And it's also an energy of taking control, taking charge, taking the lead kind of energy. So this flipped over in my hand, the Nine of Swords. That's your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So maybe there's been a lot of um, sleepless nights, worry, stress, anxiety, uh, nervous energy, fear, either in your family issues or in this connection, like, like, You've had the two of pentacles here juggling all this around and being so overwhelmed, being totally stressed out here, overburdened with the ten of wands. 
All right, what else do we have? Temperance. So now we have Sagittarius energy. So this is healing, balancing out the scales. This is the same angel here that brings the soulmates together. As in judgment and resurrecting them in every lifetime that they come together. So balancing out the energies here, um, having enlightenment, patience, time, healing kind of energy. A lot of major arcana now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six so far. All right. Wow. So the two of cups. Wow, Aquarius. Bottom of the deck. Two people coming together as one in unity. Uh, soulmate energy again. Confirming here with the soulmates. Two soulmates coming together as one. Sharing love, emotions, fulfillment in every way. Sharing each other's cups. Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy here now, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, here's an offer, communication, uh, coming with a tangible offer. This could be a proposal, this could be an apology, this could be, you know, um, just words of commitment, uh, some sort of um, energy here of coming forward and offering something tangible, long-term, willing to work on it. Sure, st steady, stable, grounded. Pentacles come and they stay, usually. It's long, steady, growth, abundance. Putting in that work. Very slow process, but they're stable and grounded. So again, with the Seven of Swords energy, that's your energy. And usually this talks about like deceit and self-deceit, sneaky behavior, but I'm not getting that energy. Because you see here, you're carrying all these swords and you're running around. I just feel like you have so much responsibility right now. You feel like you're running in every direction. Your hands are full. You can't even pick up the rest here. It's just all this going on and you're just feeling very, times you feel like you probably just need to drop it all and run and get away off on your own because it's just too overwhelming. Page of Swords. So this is communication again. So there may be, uh, some communication that's needed here in this connection very truthful open honest communication um this give me energy of like keeping tabs on each other online and you know maybe that's going on too i don't know um cutting away energy is no longer serving this situation standing up for it queen of pentacles so and here's you know the offer coming in here's the offer in hand so being very uh, abundant, uh, prosperous, wealthy, smart, practical, abundance and growth, sure, stable and grounded here in the world. So a whole new cycle. And there's the world talks about cycles and changes, endings and new beginnings, whole new world, whole new cycle, earth energy again. So, yeah, I think things can get very stable here long-term communications needed and I think you need to lay down some burdens here if there's a way to do that I think you're running around like sometimes you feel like a chicken with your head cut off <laughs> and just feeling very overwhelmed I'm feeling and I feel like maybe you don't even have time for your person but you know this is a soulmate past life relationship maybe they haven't figured that out yet but um Follow your intuition, your gut, on this. All right, Aquarius. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I think they want this connection just as much as you do. I feel like you're overworked, overburdened, too much responsibility. You don't really have time for this person. You try to fit them in when you can, but you know this is a soulmate, past life relationship. But getting that deep into it maybe they're not that far deep into that yet like knowing what like twin flame when you get twin flame here but like past life soulmates maybe they don't really know about that much that might scare them away so you know maybe just keep that to yourself but um i definitely have the energies here of soulmate energy definitely here all right so if you can you know 
find a way to release some of these burdens, some of this uh, energy, and spend more time with them. This could be the offer here. Uh, I think things will get better. Okay. So, let's get some extra advice and guidance for you. Aquarius, second half of August. Second half of August. Achievement, keep focused on your dream. And we have 17 here, which, so 17, eight, and that is about communication, um, traveling movement, taking movement. So if they're your dream, keep focused on your dream. If they are your dream, your wish fulfillment, you can achieve this connection with them. If you stay spent, you know, I think you need to put a little more focus on them as hard as that may be because um, they may end up you know they could end up walking away eventually if they don't see things approving improving because we do have the seven of swords energy there laying down the burdens here with the ten of wands the tens are about endings so um, I think it's up to you whether or not you want to try to give them more time to work it out or if not they may may walk away i don't know but this i feel is a very very passionate deep soulmate love connection here all right let's see if we get another one all right apprehension moving out into the world doubt and fear and now we have 17 18 wow and nine and there's the fear here the nine of swords so you may have some apprehension about, you know, giving up some of your responsibilities here. Um, but it may be something you may need to think about and do, make that judgment call in this connection. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck now. Purification, fire, bare essentials, the naked truth, and wholeness. So, and fire, we had a lot of fire energy here. So, I mean, they could definitely be a fire sign um, or have it in their chart, or maybe you have fire in your chart, but purification, fire, bare essentials, the naked truth and wholeness. So I do feel like, I mean, fire, I mean, it could be a twin flame connection here. I don't know. Um, we didn't get any of those cards here, but yeah, I need to purify yourself your energy uh, by releasing burdens uh, maybe releasing some of your uh, responsibility in some way and getting down to the bare bones bare facts of this connection healing it getting to the truth of it I think you complete one another you feel whole when you're together as you see they're naked here and it says naked truth bare essential so I do feel like you know at times it's very when you do have time to get some very loving, compassionate, passionate energy. All right, Aquarius, um, if this didn't resonate for you, you could check below in the description box for past uh, readings, links to their playlist. Maybe something there will resonate for you. Um, I do consider all the readings timeless, even though there are dates associated to them. Disregard the dates. If you see a title that uh, resonates with you, I would say watch it. There may be something in there for you. If you do like my style, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, I love to read the comments and hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly journal in love, so don't miss out on that. Thank you so much for watching and uh, good luck to you in your situation here and sending you many light, love, and blessings. And I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.